I am here with one of the biggest names and certainly one of the most inspiring people in sports in the world, really. Tim Tebow. You are too so, kind. Oh, come on. I, 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 I speak the truth. I speak the truth. <laughs> if nothing, I speak the truth. The former Heisman Trophy winner, baseball player, he has a new book, Shaken, where he opens up about getting through life's ups and downs. Humble, humble, <laughs> humble. That's you. You're the best, right? Uh, and, you know, welcome home. Thank you. know, you, you. you were here with Appreciate us. Appreciate it. We, Love being back. We, we watch you from afar, and now we're watching you playing baseball you have a game t tonight yes Seems I do like you're having fun too. I'm having so much fun you know it's amazing when you do something for the love of it and I'm so passionate about the game and pursuing it and playing every day it's just so much fun yeah well I gotta tell you I really got so much out of reading your book and especially how you began the book but I want to say something that you wrote here it's on the jacket your circumstances do not define you your identity does and many thought football defined you that was your identity and, but it's, it has not been. And how did you prevent that from happening? Being well, I think case? it's really understanding what matters, what's important in your life, and having something bigger than just what you do. And when you have an identity that's bigger than what you do, even when that fails or you crumble or someone says you're not good enough or you can't or you won't or you shouldn't, you can still prevail over that because your life is bigger than that. And so, you know, so this book was written for so many people that have to go through ups and downs, whether it's your boyfriend or girlfriend dumps you, you don't get mm -hmm. that job, you're not good enough because because, you know, I've been told by a lot of different teams that I'm not good enough. So how do you handle that? How do you bounce back? And for me, it's to be able to have a foundation of something bigger in yourself. Understand what God says about you that, you, that you are important, that you have a life of significance and you have a life of meaning. And when you understand your purpose, that'll totally change your identity. And it is so apparent throughout this book and your circle of trust, your beautiful family as well. I love how you speak about them. I love the story that you tell about going to the Philippines. And there was something that happened there that you came back saying, I'm going to be the best quarterback ever. And it had nothing to do with sports when you were there. No, Tell us about that. I, got to, I got to meet a boy with his feet on backwards and his name Sherwin in a remote jungle in the Philippines. And, and that entire village looked at him like he was cursed because he was born with his feet on backwards. And it broke my heart because those are the kids that we're fighting for. Those are the kids that we're supposed to be loving and encouraging. And, and leaving that village, I was leaving with tears in my eyes because you know I wanted to fight for people like that. And I knew I wanted to be the best athlete that mm -hmm. I could be but what I wanted to do with my life was fight for people like Sherwin and now that's why we have a hospital in the Philippines we take care of 2,000 orphans and you know the first kid that we brought into the hospital was a little girl who had to crawl for food every single day because she was born with her feet on backwards and people looked at her as as you're cursed and now we get to carry those people into the hospital mm -hmm. and they get to walk out with physical emotional and spiritual healing and that's our goal is we want to fight for people that can't fight for themselves yeah your foundation all around the world you were born in the Philippines so I know that's a special place for you. Yes, I also love the story with Sherwin that his friends, here you're the big star in town, and his friends stayed with him instead of, because they knew that he well, couldn't well, walk to Robin, see imagine this. Imagine if a village that has never had visitors in the history of this village, ever, and it's the biggest thing to ever happen, and for, for Americans to come and speak, but for them to walk away and stay with their friend because yeah. their principal didn't want to have the crippled boy um, discouraging the Americans and so they leave, they leave but their friends stay with them mm -hmm. and it's like that encouraged me because could you imagine when you're in middle school to yeah. have a, you know a friend that's sick and to stay with him over the biggest thing that's ever happened and so that encouraged me to want to be that type of friend but also mm -hmm. be able to try to make that type of impact in someone's life you have made a big impact especially on young people's lives a group from Indiana we got time for one question so it's going to be Alyssa it's going to be Sam who wants to be the one who's going to step up and do the, uh, that's the question. I can do it all right so you're one of the biggest names in sports right now um, how do you stay so humble um, that's a good question thank you I think humility is something that is really hard um, but I think humility comes um, not thinking less of yourself but thinking of yourself less meaning try to look for the people around you and what they need and how you can help them and how you can make an impact in, in their life because I think the greatest form of love is choosing the best interest of another person and acting on their behalf and so when you see friends and the people around you in your class they need help be that person that's going to go out of your way to help them to love them to care about them and you never know how big of an impact you'll really make because he is my right hand, I will not be shaken. Shaken is the name of the book. You're all going to get the book. Everybody in our audience outside and around yeah. is going to get the book. It's not coming out until tomorrow. I know you got to hit the road. You got a game tonight. Yes, I do. Oh, well, thanks for making Thank time. Thank you so for us. much for having me. I love to you and Robin. your family. Thank yes. You.